Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Natalie here. Today I am filming a work week in my life. It is actually the last work week in my life. It's not the last work week in my life like forever, but it's the last work week of my life at a corporate job. I quit my job. Ah, I've never said this on camera. Okay, so I quit my job. I actually quit six weeks ago and they asked me to give them like six weeks notice or not six weeks notice but instead of the traditional two weeks notice since I don't have like another job job lined up where I have to like start at a certain date they asked me if I could give them six weeks so that I could come in so I can come and like train the new guy um, just to give them more time and I said yes because I mean I really had no rush to quit um i tried like negotiating it down to like five weeks and then it still really kind of ended up being six weeks but it's fine like i mean i'm getting paid like i'm not really complaining but yeah i quit right after i came back from like all my trips like coachella new york la like all of that i quit at the end of april and right now it is the end of may basically i am going to do a whole video on why i quit my job by the time this goes up it will already be up so you guys can watch that but I'm really nervous and I hope that you guys are understanding and nice <laughs> but I'm really nervous to like talk about this on camera um, but obviously I wanted to film the last work week of my life this week is Memorial Day week the week after Memorial Day so it's a pretty short week and I end on Thursday so I only have three more days of work which is wild um, it's Tuesday morning right now so it's the first day of the week I didn't have a Monday and then I am going to my actual company, which is Accenture, which I can now say it, and I'll explain also why I didn't want to say the name of my company, um, but yeah, I work for Accenture, so I'm going to Accenture's office in Charlotte, and I'm doing my exit interview with someone from HR there, I think I'm going to go and like turn in my laptop, um, but yeah, it's weird, ah, I'm so excited, I'm so happy though, and I hope that you guys watch that other video to see why I am quitting and what I'm doing and what's next for me because that will explain a lot more. Um, I want this to be still very like vlog style and I don't want you guys to be sad that oh there's no more work in my life. I'm still going to be working and like I've said before I never want YouTube to be my only thing that I'm doing. I feel like it would drive me nuts. I'd get very bored. So YouTube won't be my only thing that I'm doing but I'm excited to work on my own like business opportunities and ventures and I want to show you guys kind of work in my life as like working for yourself and freelance and not just YouTube like with other things as well and I'm gonna need to start like finding a routine like it's gonna be really hard for me because I'm a very like, routine person so I'm gonna need to like make my own routine and like discipline myself and I want you guys to be there with me and I hope that this shows that if you get to a point where you have the opportunity to follow your dreams and to quit your job and to go full time with whatever you want to do, I hope it shows that you can do it. And it's not for everyone, that's for sure, but you definitely can and I hope that this inspires you in any way possible. I'm honestly so, so, so thankful that I'm able to quit my job at 23 years old. I graduated college one year ago what how am i able to quit my job already it's just insane and i know that my opportunities and my life experiences is a lot different than other people's and i totally acknowledge that ah, i'm so excited <laughs> let's get back to like a normal vlog i am in workout clothes as you guys see and i am off to the gym so i'll show you guys my workout outfit and it's currently 7.50. It's pretty late, but I have my exit interview at like 10 or 10.30, so I don't have to be there until like a little bit later, so that's my excuse. Okay, so this is my workout outfit of the day. This top is from Pink. I really like it. It's just like camo. I love Victoria's Secret sports bras, and then these leggings are from Fabletics. They are so comfortable. They're one of my favorite leggings that I own. I recently got them, but they're just like so comfortable. And I am off to do legs today. I'm wearing my Nike sneakers also. I wear them every single day. And I got my Apple Watch on. And we're off to do some legs. Let's go. I just got back up from the gym. Actually, that's a lie. I got back from the gym. I showered. I got ready. And now I'm ready for work. So I'm going to show you guys my outfit. I'm wearing this black tank top from Banana Republic. It's just some like silk blouse. 
Um, these are also from Banana Republic. You've seen these a million times. I don't have that many work clothes, so I rewear things like crazy. And then these shoes are like one of the beads has fallen off. I'm not sure where they're from. Oh, they're Steve Madden. Yeah, so I'm just wearing these cute little slip ons and these dainty little earrings. And I do want to do like lookbooks for you guys. So I want to do like a professional lookbook or like a um, business casual lookbook, whatever. So if you guys want to see that, thumbs this video up and comment down below. But I am starving, so I'm going to go get some breakfast first and then head to the office. Sitting in my car eating McDonald's before I go in. I ate my sandwich while I was heading over here. Now I'm about to eat my hash brown and then I'm gonna go in and do my exit interview. <laughs> I just got done with my exit interview back in the car. Um, I got a Starbucks. There's a Starbucks in the Accenture building in Charlotte and it's uptown, which I really like being uptown probably once I'm done with this. I'm in a coffee shop hop around and that will be like my office while I work on other things um, because doing, working for yourself is a very lonely job especially in the beginning like maybe one day when I hire like more employees or something like that which in the future who knows I don't know but anyways a job that is working for yourself and that is remote like it's on the internet or on the computer it's very 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 lonely and so I need to get out of my apartment so I am probably going to do that I was thinking of joining a co-working space but I don't think I'm gonna join one until I move to New York because um i just i'm gonna be traveling kind of a lot and i don't want to pay like 200 bucks a month for a co-working space or a hundred dollars a month for a co-working space if i'm only here for like two weeks of the year i don't or two weeks of the month so i probably won't join one in charlotte but i will bounce around from coffee shop to coffee shop probably like three times a week or something like that just so i'm not spending so much money on coffee um but just also to kind of interact and socialize with people even if i'm not physically talking to them at least being around other people um i'll probably i'll probably do that but yeah i just had my exit interview it was really simple um i just they just asked me like why i was leaving was i leaving for another company how was the experience and i've had a great 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 experience at accenture i can talk about that more if you guys want me to but i've had a great experience there i would recommend the company to anyone it's just it was time for me to all of my dreams which sounds so cheesy but it's so true and i could literally cry thinking about it i'm so happy and i'm it's very very surreal it doesn't feel like next week i won't be at work like what um it's a very 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 surreal feeling i'm excited and also like oh i can't believe this is my life like thank you guys wow uh, don't worry i am going to thank you a million times over all the time because without you guys this wouldn't be possible um and i'm just wow I'm so happy. <laughs> I just got off of work and now I'm at the nail salon. It's um somewhere over there. So I'm going to get my nails done. They are so overgrown, but these are my real nails. I get SNS, which is like the dip powder. And yeah, they're just like very, very, very overgrown. So I am just going to um i want to get them more like round shaped so that's what i'm gonna do and if i don't go after work immediately i am not gonna go because once i go to my apartment i just like stay in my apartment all day long <laughs> second fast food restaurant of the day because i'm eating so healthy today i am back from getting my nails done i also got chick-fil-a for dinner and now i'm doing a face mask I am using the Glam Glow Brightening Face Mask. It, I don't remember the last time I used this, but I, if you guys watched my last Get Ready With Me, I am trying to like make my face just appear more like bright and less dull. So hopefully this does a little something. Anyways, today a podcast episode just went up. So if you guys have not listened to my podcast, go and listen to it. I interviewed TK or Taylor King, however you guys know her. Um, she is the production coordinator for Alicia slash Alicia Marie, whatever you guys want to call her also. Um, and she's just like the most bubbly, fun, energetic person. And she's so sweet. So definitely go and check her out because she's actually the reason why I started podcasting because I went on her podcast and I was like, all right this is cool i want to do this um but yeah i'm so happy that that went up 
I love podcasting, you guys. It brings me so much joy in my life, and I'm so happy that it's well received and that you guys really like it. And I need suggestions, so comment down below who you guys think I should interview next on the podcast. I know a lot of you guys are saying to interview Brooke Michio, which like don't worry like i am fully planning on it um i'm visiting boston at some point this summer and i know she's moving to boston so i'm gonna ask her if she wants to record it then maybe we'll do like a little collab for the podcast because i love gals on the go and i feel like it'd be really fun to have her on like especially like post-grad life and stuff like that but yeah Right now I'm just chilling, relaxing. I'm like in my PJs already, but like not my, my top is still work, but like my bottoms are PJs. Um, and I'm just editing my website, which I don't know if I've explained yet, but I will explain it soon. Um, I'm editing my website. It takes so long to like customize it to exactly what I want. And I'm really excited for you guys to see it. I look so funny with this face mask on. I feel like you guys cannot take me seriously. Also, another thing I wanted to mention is that I have been using the Rodin and Fields Lash, Lash Serum, which um, I've talked about plenty of times before. But look at my eyelashes. This is without makeup and, yeah, like no makeup on. And that's my eyelashes. It seriously works so, so, so well. Um, I don't know, like, uh, some people say that there's some, like, controversial thing with it, how it, like, changes, like, your iris color or something like that. For me, I haven't experienced it, so definitely, like, consult your, like, eye doctor or whatever before you want to proceed with it. But for me, I have only seen positive results, but that is a disclaimer. If you guys have lighter colored eyes, I guess, like, watch out. I'm just going to continue working. I'll probably read a little bit tonight. I'll read my Chillpreneur book because it's so good. And yeah, I'm just kind of in a good mood. Enjoying a face mask, going to light a candle. Oh, this is, this is some good lighting. <laughs> good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday morning. And right now, I already went to the gym and showered. So that's why my hair is all wet. But I'm just getting ready for work. It's actually 8.50. I've been getting into work so late. Ooh, not good, but I'm just about to do my makeup really really quickly and I am watching Maggie McDonald's self-care vlog So that's what I'm doing and I'm just gonna quickly do my makeup <laughs> I have Kim Kardashian's naked body on my desk, but this perfume legit smells so good. I like hated that I loved the smell because like, I don't know, this bottle is so funny, but it smells so good. Mm, seriously, go and smell this at Ulta. It's so fresh and like perfect for the summer. I just, mm, I love the smell of it. Here is my outfit of the day. I did not clean my room. I woke up a little too late. I went to the gym at 7.50 this morning and it's 9.10 right now. A lot of you guys ask me to put like timestamps on um, my videos because you wanna know like how I get stuff done. Um, basically I don't leave for work until like 9.10. I'm actually running a little bit late today, but I don't know, I figured my last week can be a little more relaxed. I like leaving around this time, like already being in the car at this time, um, and getting into the office by 9.30, like the latest, like 9.25, 9.30. So that's typically like my timeline, and then I wake up at 7, and I go to the gym, and my makeup takes me 10 minutes, my breakfast takes me 10 minutes, and luckily I live 10 minutes away from my work, so I'm not like sitting in traffic or anything, so yeah, that is how I got like everything done in the mornings if you guys were curious i don't like being in a rush so i like taking my sweet time anyways this is my outfit the shirt is from h&m it's really really cute i have an undershirt just so that it's not like see-through while i'm at work um i'm not sure where this necklace is from but it's just like a cute little dainty necklace um my jeans are seven for all mankind really really cute i love them i always wear these to work because all of my other jeans are ripped and these are like my only pair of like not ripped jeans and then i'm wearing the same shoes that i wore yesterday just because they're comfortable easy to slip on and my badge to get into my building 
It is after work right now. I just got done and I am at CVS. I am going to get some cards, um, two cards for my boss and my coworker. I just want to give them something for when I leave. I don't think per Accenture policy we're allowed to give like clients gifts. So I'm not going to get them like a gift card or anything because my boss is actually from my client. She's the one that like tells me what to do. So I am going to get her a card and, um, my coworker card which i will miss very dearly so yeah that's what i'm at cbs for right now and it is so hot my car is off because i have nine miles i didn't realize i had nine miles and i looked and i was like oh, i'm gonna run out of gas <laughs> so i'm very glad that um i noticed that i'm gonna get these two cards i think this one is so cute it's a little dog and it just says just a little thank you from a very grateful heart and this one says with warmest thanks and your kindness meant so much to me perfect i also got my disposables i it's like christmas when i open these up i get so excited let's see them i don't even remember i think these are from like two months ago this is from so long ago like i don't remember this oh this is from california for chloe's birthday this was in march oh my gosh why do some of them turn out like this do i have to be like really up close to the camera oh oh my gosh Allie looks so cute what the heck okay i'm gonna send that to her oh oh my gosh i'm obsessed Oh, I can't wait to hang these up in my room. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so annoying. Yeah, Allie is going to get sent the digital copies of these. So cute. I cannot wait to hang these up in my room. They're going to look so good. This is the Boohoo office in LA. So cute. Wow, love, obsessed, cool. I have six miles left, but I made it. I have my disposable wall right here, so I am just going to go and put the rest of the disposables that I just got and start hanging them up. Okay, I had a random Louisville, Kentucky number calling me and I just ignore every phone number that I don't have saved. But I totally forgot that I ordered Postmates and it was a Postmates guy and I ignored him three times. So I'm so happy that he was persistent. I was like, all right, maybe I should pick up. They've called me three times. And he's like, hi, this is your Postmates. I'm like, oh. <laughs> all right, I'll finish this later. <laughs> coming together i'm just safety pinning them there i want to have more like um vertical pictures here to put and i didn't want to have just like a bunch of horizontal pictures in a row so that's why i left that space there but i love it i want to bring it like up the wall once i have some more but i just think it makes my room so fun and really personal and cute and i'm really happy with how it looks good morning everyone it is my last day of work Oh my gosh, this is so weird. The last time getting ready for work, last time driving to work. Oh wow, it is, that is strange. That's so weird. I am going to write the cards for my boss and my coworker. I'm just going to write these right now. Um, just telling them thank you for everything. And like, this really was the best first job and first project I really could have ever asked for. So I just want to thank them and leave them with something. And it's kind of, it's weird. I'm like so happy, but I'm also like, it's bittersweet because I'm sad to be leaving them. Because once you quit a job, you'll realize like life goes on without you. <laughs> like it's, I know that in high school, I mean, I've had four different jobs before, like, but this is my first like corporate job and it's just weird like hearing them talk about projects that I won't be a part of and I don't know, but I'm excited. I know it's something that I had to do and they totally understood that as well. So yeah, 
I'm gonna write down the letters for them and then start getting ready. I just got ready for work and I never wear this much makeup to work. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know. Honestly, if I even wear makeup, it's like an accomplishment. And I decided because it was my last day, I was like, I'm going to dress up and do my makeup and why not? It's my last day. So I actually did a full face of makeup right now and I'll show you guys my outfit. If you guys watched my last Get Ready With Me, you guys have seen this. It's from New York and Company. I think it is such a cute summer dress, and it's perfect for work. I feel like on my work, you can wear, like, spaghetti straps. Like, it's totally fine. But if not, just throw on a jacket to wear inside the office, and it works just as well. And I'm wearing these nude flats with it. Um, but, yeah, I really, really love it. And this is literally the most dressed up I have ever been. So better late than ever right <laughs> i am just now going to get my laptop i have so much stuff right here here on the side of my bed these are all the clothes i need to get rid of look at my backpack it's just like tumbled in the middle all right i need to get my laptop which is over there that's my work i just kind of like step over Eek. my apple watch and my work laptop I have not used this in so long because I can actually use my personal laptop. Um, so I'm just gonna put it in here and then I can return all my devices. You guys know that I test the mobile app. So I have like a bunch of devices. Like I have an Android in here. I have an iPhone like in that thing that I can return. So I'm just getting all of that. Ah! All right, good to go. Now I'm just gonna make a coffee and I'm gonna get a Starbucks breakfast just for celebration and because I ran out of eggs. And yeah, let's go. Guess I don't need this anymore. Oh. I just got back from work. I just left, it's only three o'clock, but they just let me leave early because like on your last day, you're not really doing anything. So I got a farewell lunch yesterday and today and it was so much sadder than I thought. Like, I am so happy that I am able to work for myself. But saying bye to everyone and people that I've spent the past seven months with um, just has been really hard saying bye. And the, those people are amazing. They treated me like family. It was just, I don't know. I, it was so, I got so incredibly lucky with my project and with my team and with, like, I just got so lucky. So I'm so, so, so thankful and wow. I'm sad. I was like not gonna cry and I didn't cry but I was tearing up and I was just like why am I tearing up like I should be happy and I am and I'm also it's just a bittersweet feeling and I also wanted to say thank you guys. I that can't go unnoticed because oh my gosh I feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> okay thank you guys because I feel like I started YouTube eight years ago and the amount of opportunities that I have gotten with YouTube and just like I started it and I was just doing like makeup and fashion videos and then I started doing more vlogs and letting you guys in my life and you guys welcomed me and like loved my vlogs and that's when I I don't know every time I meet you guys I just feel so thankful and so incredibly like honored that you guys watch me and I want to say thank you because I do want to do other things besides YouTube but until those other things generate a profit I am not like YouTube is my income and which is fine I decided to quit because I was making more on YouTube and substantially more on YouTube than I was at my corporate job so I knew that I would be safe to like not be on a steady paycheck to paycheck but I am just so thankful to you guys because without it you guys it would just be like it, this wouldn't be possible and I wouldn't be living my dream and I wouldn't be my own boss at age 23 like what who gets to say that and also coming from a place where I like I've worked a corporate job now I've learned so much and I understand people who do this and I just want to say I do come from a place of I have an advantage over people I don't have student loans I was able to go to college um I like got a good job after college you know all of these things like 
I know my circumstances are not everyone's and my circumstances are beyond I'm beyond grateful for them I know most people don't have my circumstance and I want to take it like I want to be here and say I know that and not everyone can quit their job right away and follow their dreams like that's not realistic a lot of people need to be working a corporate job even if they don't love it like I that advice that's like oh well just like if it doesn't make you happy then like quit and just change it that's so easy to say when you don't have bills to pay so I understand that but I also want to be here and like one give thanks that you guys are letting me like follow my dreams and two say that everything nothing has to be forever so don't put yourself in the mindset that you're going to be miserable at your corporate job forever like pick up a side hustle start doing another hobby and work on it on the side and then hopefully like get connections meet people just do something on the side i'm such a big proponent of not quitting your don't quit your daydream and also don't quit your day job because you need bills to pay and you don't want to be stressed out trying to and then make your side hustle like miserable because it's not paying bills and then you hate doing it if that makes any sense i feel like my brain right now is just like mush because i'm like so so many emotions have like flooded over me right now but I hope that makes sense in my video where I actually talk about quitting which will have already been up by the time you guys watch this I'm going to put it way more like eloquently right now I'm just all over the place but I just wanted to say thank you guys because you guys are the only reason why this is possible I'm not gonna sugarcoat it you guys are the only reason why this is possible so thank you thank you thank you it has been my dream to be my own business owner for literally since I was in high school I knew that I would own my own business one day and the fact that I'm doing it now I'm just so incredibly lucky and so incredibly blessed and grateful to you guys and I really do thank you from the bottom of my heart and I'm excited to show you guys this journey and kind of help motivate you guys along the way as well so thank you unboxing time yay I got new packages let's see what they are Okay, this, I am actually doing a video with them. I'm so excited. They gave it to me to test out first before I like commit to a video um, because it is skincare. So I'm really excited. Let me see what it is. I've heard such amazing things about it. Future of skincare has arrived. This gives me like care of vibes, but for skincare because you take a quiz and it like personalizes the entire skincare for you. No, this video is not sponsored by them. <laughs> Um, but I potentially will be doing one with them. Oh, so sleek. Whoops. I just got a personalized cleanser in here. Personalized anti-pollution SPF moisturizer in here. And this is a night repair cream. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to try this out. Each one is personalized, which I think is so, so, so amazing. Yay. Thank you, Proven, for sending this to me. You guys, I just ordered from Glossier for the first time ever. This is my first time ever trying Glossier products. I bought so much stuff. If you guys want 10% off your purchase, I'll have it linked down below. I think it just gives you 10% off and then it gives me like $10 off or something like that. Yay! Wow, uh, this packaging. I've never ordered from Glossier before. Okay, so I got the priming moisturizer because I've heard amazing, amazing things about this. So I wanted to try it. I got the mintbalm.com. This I've tried this from someone else. Like someone had it. And oh, it was Penny. Penny, um, when I went to San Francisco, Penny was there and she let me try her balm.com. I think she had just like the original flavor or something, but I wanted to get mint. I got Boy Brow, which I am so excited to try. The, it's so tiny. This looks like a little sample. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to try this. So I will let you know if it is worth the hype. Super Glow Vitamin C Serum. On my last Get Ready With Me, I said I wanted more glowy skin. And a lot of people recommended this. So I'm really excited to try that. Um, so much skincare. My goodness. Why is this one so fancy? All right, I got the solution, which another person in that get ready with me also gave me this suggest suggestion. So it's just an exfoliator. So I'll probably use this a few times a week. Um, or is it a toner? Oh, I thought this was an exfoliating like face wash. Okay, it's a toner. Cool. I'll probably use this then. Um, probably in the mornings or at night. Yeah, I love the packaging. And then I got a free sample of the milk jelly cleanser. So it just gave me a sample. 
nice. This is so cute. I ordered this off of 12th Tribe. I am obsessed. It's an ACDC cropped shirt. I'm going to have it linked down below if you guys want to shop it. This is so cute. I'm definitely going to get a picture in this this weekend. I have just been watching TV, doing nothing, just enjoying my time. I don't want to work anymore like past a certain time. I really want to schedule my days from like 9 to 5. Around that is what I'm hoping crossing my fingers um so i'm treating myself and i'm not working after work for the first time in so long so um i'm gonna end the vlog here i just want to say thank you guys again i already said that a million times but seriously i'm also gonna answer all of your questions in my video that i'm going to film about quitting my job but oh my gosh it's so weird and i can't wait to vlog my new journey and i'm gonna tell you guys about what's next in my life in that video um, so if you guys haven't watched it, definitely go watch it because it's already up by the time you see this. And I'm still going to vlog and I'm going to vlog even more. And again, I'm still going to be productive and showing you what a girl boss can freaking do because that is who I am. Like not like, oh, I'm a girl boss. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying like I always want to do more. I'm always thinking of the next thing. I always, I'm, I'm just, I want to own my own thing. I want to build a business and I don't want it to just be YouTube. So I'm excited to take you guys on the journey with me. I'm in a really good mood right now. Um, I'm going to, to the airport to pick up someone and I'm going to vlog this weekend potentially. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting me and I will see you guys in the